Our next question is 2.21. The mass of an electron is 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg. If its kinetic energy is 3.0 10 to the power minus 25 joule, calculate the wavelength. So it's an easy question here. In this case, mass of an electron is given. You need to calculate wavelength. Kinetic energy is also given. So in this, mass of an electron given to us is 9.110 to the power minus 31 kg. Then what we'll be knowing is Planck's constant 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 joule per joule second. Another thing that is given to us is kinetic energy which is in the question 3.0 10 to the power minus 25 joule. Now we need to calculate is the wavelength. So again in this when you are trying to find out what is the wavelength. First we need to calculate using kinetic energy. Use the formula of kinetic energy. So in this case when we look before we move into all of that parameters here are not same. So just like how you did the um, conversion for the previous problem I have explained how to do the conversion of joule to kg. Same thing here also. 1 joule is equal to kg meter square seconds minus 2. That is going to be the conversion. So when we convert it here Planck's constant will become 6.626 10 to the power minus 34 kg meters meter square seconds minus 1. That is going to be the conversion. Kinetic energy will also change. This will become 3.0 10 to the power minus 25 kg meter square seconds minus 2. So here we are going to use the formula of kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 mv square. Now in this formula kinetic energy we know, mass we know, velocity is what we have to find out. So for this velocity is equal to 2 into kinetic energy divided by m. Just rearrange the formula. Now once you have rearranged this formula, we can do the substitution which is 2 into kinetic energy 3.0 into 10 to the power minus 25 kg meter square seconds minus 2 divided by mass is 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Now this will be equal to kg and kg will get cancelled. When we solve this, you will get 0 0.69593 10 to the power 6 meter square seconds minus 2. Let's shift the decimal. This will become 65.9. Two decimal places we are doing. And we will get 10 to the power 4 meter square seconds minus 2. This value here is 6593. So when you shift your decimal you will get 65.9 in 10 to the power 4. Now this is not v it is v square. So we need to find the value of v. So v is equal to root of this value. That is 65.9 into 10 to the power 4 meter square seconds minus 2. When we take the root, this will become 8.117 into 10 to the power 4 will become 10 to the power 2. Meter square will become meter. Seconds in minus 2 will become seconds inverse. Now this one, when we just shift the decimal, 8117.7 meter per second. Now this is going to be the velocity of the electron. But still you haven't arrived at your answer because you need to find out what is the wavelength. Now to find out this one, we know only one relation between wavelength and velocity which is lambda is equal to h by mv, de Broglie's equation. So here wavelength, your uh, h value is going to be taken as 6.626. 10 to the power minus 34 kg 
meter square seconds inverse divided by mass of the electron is the same 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg into velocity is 811.7 meter per second per second will get cancelled meter and meter will get cancelled kg and kg will get cancelled when we solve this we will get 0 0.896 10 to the power minus 6 meter now this one when we shift the decimal to the right you will get 896 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter this will become 896 nanometer so therefore 1 nanometer is 10 to the power minus 9 meter it simplifies our entire answer here so this is going to be the wavelength of the electron before that we need to calculate what is the uh, velocity because when we use this formula h we know m we know we don't know velocity that's why using kinetic energy you're finding out what is the wavelength uh, the velocity 